my channel. Today I am finally here with my makeup collection. This video has been so highly requested from you guys so I thought I would take the time to film it and show you everything that I have in my makeup collection. So before we jump straight into the video I do want to give a little disclaimer before we start and just say that I am not bragging about the makeup that I have. I'm not trying to show off all the things that I have and say that you need this amount of makeup. Makeup is my absolute passion and I've been collecting it over a number of years now so I do have a lot of makeup. Way more than one person should ever need but it is something that I'm really proud of and I've been asked to to show you guys so I'm more than happy to show you everything that I have now that we're done with all of that let's jump straight into the video guys I really hope you do enjoy this video so this is what you see when you walk into my bedroom and this is all of my makeup setup but as you can see here for the actual setup I have two lots of Ikea Alex drawers and then I just have a custom made desktop that my dad made for me but I do really highly recommend the Alex drawers for makeup storage however there are a couple of flaws that I'll go through when I get a little bit closer to them so on top of my desk I just have this gold and white print here from Kmart this was super inexpensive and I love the gold and white so then I also have this white frame which I think is just from Kmart as well and that just has a whole bunch of photo booth photos from different events that I've been to with my friends and my boyfriend and stuff. Then I have a rose gold candle there that's just a lemongrass Ecoya limited edition one and I have another candle behind that but I can't remember where it's from. And just a black and white little pot which is from Kmart as well which I've popped a spiky cactus into. Then onto my actual Mac desktop computer. I bought this recently to do all of my editing on because I wanted it to be able to support Final Cut Pro which is the program that I use to edit all my videos. Then to this little set here. This is actually an acrylic four set drawer that I was gifted by NYX. This was for doing their meeting great with them which I absolutely love and it has all of my liquid lipsticks and setting sprays in it and then on top I just have this rose gold and marble cloth from Typo I think. Then I also have a Bath and Body Works candle in mango and coconut cooler which is absolutely delightful. So in this first drawer here this is my base product drawer. So this one here contains all of my primers. I have some concealers that I don't use as often. I have some banana powders and some setting powders here. I have all of my concealers, my higher end foundations and then also my drugstore foundations that I reach for a lot. So I have my Benefit Porefessional, which this one here is a backup. I absolutely love this primer. Then I also have a Maybelline Baby Skin. I've got an Open Porefessional by Benefit. I've got a L'Oreal Lumi Magique, which is my go-to primer for when I want a really nice glowy base. Then I've got the L'Oreal Base Magique. I have a Face of Australia one. I've got the trusty Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, which you guys would have seen everywhere. I've got a whole bunch of primers in here that are just mismatched all through there. Then in this section here, I have lots of concealers that I don't reach for a whole lot. I have the designer brand CC highlighting pen. I've got the hard candy glamouflage heavy duty concealer. I've got a whole bunch of those back in there but you can't really see them very well because these drawers are really really deep. And in here I have the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I have a couple of the e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powders. Then I have the Bare Minerals concealer powder in Well Rested. Then I have two of the banana powders by Australis. You guys know that I absolutely love these for highlighting my under eye area. Then in this section here I have my go-to concealers. So I have the Benefit Erase Paste for color correcting. I absolutely love this stuff. Then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Then I've got a couple of the Maybelline Master Conceals. I have the Light and Light Medium ones. I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I have lots of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers in Custard. I've got a Maybelline Adri one in there. A Maybelline Fit Me. I've got a couple of the LA Girl Pro Concealers in here. I've just got a whole heap of concealers. I'm obsessed with collecting concealers and trying them out all the time. And in this section here, this is my higher end foundations that I reach for on a regular basis. So I have my trusty Too Faced Born This Way. This one is in the shade Natural Beige. I have another one down here, which is in Warm Beige for when I'm a little bit tanner. Then I've got three of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundations. I have the shade Barcelona, Punjab, and Stromboli. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in Medium. And then I also have this Astralis Matchmaker, which is the lightening one for when you want to make your foundations just a 
a little bit lighter. Then onto this section here, this is my go-to drugstore foundation section. L'Oreal True Match, this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. It often beats some of my favorite high-end foundations. I have the Maybelline Matte & Poreless. I have this L'Oreal Nude Eau de Tint. I think this one is discontinued. I have the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Foundation. A couple more True Matches from the States. I have a L'Oreal Infallible down there. I have the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. The Chi Chi BB Cream. I've got two of the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless Foundations. I've got a Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. And just a whole bunch of foundations here. And I find this drawer really, really difficult to store neatly. So in the second drawer here, this is where I keep all of my setting powders, foundations that I never reach for, all of my blushes, and all of my contour palettes and contour sticks. So in the back here, I have a heap of the Australis Fresh and Flawless powders. I normally use the shade either Deep Natural or Medium Tan. I have the Napoleon Purtis. This is the Camera Finish Powder Foundation in a Golden Sand. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder, which is in the shade NC35. This is my go-to setting powder when I want a flawless finish. Then underneath that, I have the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. This is my go-to loose translucent powder. I love this for baking the under eye. Then moving on to this section here, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is my go-to sort of pressed translucent powder. And then I have a, another MAC foundation that I got overseas that is also way too dark for me. Then in the back section here, I have a whole bunch of foundations that I absolutely never reach for. Maybelline Fit Me in 310. This is the old formula and it is way too dark as well. I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. I, I also have a Napoleon Stick Foundation in there. Then in this section here is where I keep all of my blushes. So I have the Cream Blush from Benefit in Dandelion Dew. Then I just have some really cheap BYS powder blushes. I have this MAC Brilliant Blusher. I got this friggin forever ago and I hate it because it is so, so glittery on the cheeks. I have lots of these Color Co blushes. Then I have some Estee Lauder blushes. I've got some Body Shop blushes. I have quite a few of these Essence Silky Touch blushes and just the Essence blushes in general. The formula of these blushes are amazing and they're super, super inexpensive. So these are some of my favorite blushes. Then I have the Melly Cosmetics Baked Glow and Glow Get It. Perfect sort of glowy blush shade. Then I have two MAC blushes. I have the shade Peaches and the shade Pink Swoon. These are my absolute favorite blushes in my collection. I always reach for Peaches. It's just the shade that goes with every single makeup look. Then I have a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. This is a cream blush. I have the BH Cosmetics Daisy Floral Blush Duo here. Then I have a NARS blush. This one here is in the shade Orgasm. I keep it in the packaging. Then I also have a Sigma Aura Powder. This one is in the shade Pet Name. Goes with every single makeup look. Then on the side here I have some cream blushes. Some more of the Essence Silky Touch blushes. I have the Benefit Coralista blush. This is absolutely stunning. I go for this all the time as well. Then I've also got a little baby Benefit Benny tint. Then onto this section here, this is all of my contouring palettes and my cream contour sticks. So in this section here, I have a limited edition MAC Professional Makeup Cream Contour Kit. Then onto actual palettes, I have the Youngblood Contour Kit. I've been reaching for this a lot. I have a couple of the Australis AC On Tour Contour and Highlighting Palettes. I have the Australis AC On Tour Cream Contouring Kit. I've got a backup of the Australis AC On Tour Contouring Kit. I have the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette, which I absolutely love. Then I have the DB Cosmetics Pro Contour contour palette. This is basically a dupe of the Kat Von D contour palette. The next little palette I have here is a little Smashbox trio. You would have seen this in a couple of my videos before. The banana shade is perfect, which you can see I've hit pan on. Then in here I have a couple of the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick trio. Then I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me sticks. I have one in 340 and 330. One is toffee and the other one is in the shade cappuccino. You would have seen this in my How to Get Big Boobs tutorial. I used this one here. Then in the very back here I have this NYX Wonder Stick. I got sent this recently. Now onto the third drawer. This is my favorite drawer in my entire collection. I've just got a whole bunch of bronzers and highlighters in here. So to store most of my products, I use Kmart dividers, which you would have seen in the drawers below. This divider here is actually from Ikea and it is made for Alex drawers, so it is perfect and I find it so, so nice to store compacts in it. It just makes it really nice to display them and it's really easy to see what you've got in your drawers. So in the back here, I just have a whole bunch of cream highlighters. So in here, I have the Hard Candy Sheer Glow. This is like a 
body highlighter. Then I have quite a few of the BYS liquid illuminators. This one's in Luminescent. I have a matte cream color base and this one here is in the shade Pearl. Then I have my Benefit What's Up. This is a big cult product and I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous champagne shade. Then I have an LA Girl Velvet Bronze shade. I have a little baby Benefit High Beam which is super cute. I have the Australis Highlights which is just a liquid highlighter. I have the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in Sunlight. You guys have seen me use this on my channel a fair few times. This one here is just pure pigment highlighter so it is absolutely stunning and this blends out so so beautifully. It's so so pigmented as you can see there. I also have a Benefit Moonbeam. Also have a Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminator and then I've also got a backup of the Benefit What's Up in there. Just a whole bunch of cream highlighters. Then in this section here I have all of my MAC highlighters. So I have Gold Deposit, Cheeky Bronze, Global Glow, Soft and Gentle and Light Scapade. This is MAC Soft and Gentle and you guys know that this is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. I also have a limited edition MAC highlighter here. It is so gorgeous. This one here is in the shade Glory and I can't remember which collection it was from. So then in this section here I have all of my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I hope you guys can see them all. I have Champagne Pop, Blushed Copper, Pearl, Moonstone, Rose Gold and then I also have Opal. This is Moonstone and this is one of my favorites. You guys know I use this a whole heap and it is a really really pale champagne shade. And then of course Champagne Pop, also one of my favorites. This is more of a rose gold shade. Then in this section here I have a couple of my cheaper highlighters. So I've got my e.l.f. baked highlighters. I have my Models Prefer Trio highlighter. I've got a Models Prefer highlighter there. Then in this section here I have the gorgeous Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. Beautiful bronzer. It's one of my absolute favorites right now. Then I have the Urban Decay Naked Illuminator. This is in the shade Aura. I don't really like this as a highlighter but I love it as like a body glow. I have the Gorgeous Cosmetics Prism highlighter. I have an Abdo one. Then I have the Balm Betty Luminizer. I have a backup of Mary Luminizer by the Balm. And then of course I have my Open Mary Luminizer by the Balm which is the most amazing highlighter and it's really affordable compared to some highlighters. Then on to bronzes. So in this section here I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I love keeping all of them in the packages because it just makes it really easy to store. Then I have MAC Give Me Sun which is my ultimate bronzer and it is just the most gorgeous warm shade bronzer. Then I also have a Gorgeous Cosmetics bronzing powder and my favorite bronzer of all time which is the Benefit Hula bronzer. I have so many of these in my collection because I go through them like there's no tomorrow. Then I have a Models Prefer one. I've got a, another MAC foundation in a really dark shade that can be used as a bronzer. I have the Maybelline Master Sculpt. I have the Rimmel Natural bronzer. I've got a couple of Sports Girl ones. I have the W7 bronzer which I really really like. Then I just have a couple of cheaper bronzers in the front here. And then I have one here that I was recently sent from Maybelline. It's just a beautiful warm bronzing shade. Then in the back here I just have a whole bunch of new products that I put in the back that I haven't opened yet or that I'm not using. So I put these in here to rotate through. So in the back I have a couple of the Essence Sun Club bronzers which I have used and absolutely love. I have a Benefit Shy Beam Dandelion. I have another Benefit Hula bronzer. I have a Stefan bronzer. I have lots of these black cosmetics highlighters which are in some really cool shades. I also have a Youngblood Mineral Illuminating Body Tint back there. Then I also have a really cute Becca gift set from ry.com. Then in this section here I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette for highlighters and then I also have this NYX Strobe of Genius highlighting palette which I absolutely love. Then onto my fourth drawer here. This is where I keep the majority of my eye products. So in the back here I have all of the mascaras that I have open that I've got in use. I've got a couple of loose eyeshadows in the back there that you can't see that I barely ever reach for. This one here is loose eyeshadows as well and like single pan eyeshadows. These are all my brow products which are just all over the place. Then I have a gel liner here. I have some pigments. I have my eye primers and more pigments here. Then in this section I have all of my eyeliners that are colored eyeliners. And then in this section I have all of my liquid and black eyeliners. So in the back here I have my Benefit They're Real. I've got my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've got my Rimmel Wonderful Argan Oil Mascara. I've got Maybelline Colossal. I've got the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. I have heaps of the Essence Mascara because they're super inexpensive and really really good. Then I have a couple of the YSL samples of the volume mascaras. I have the Rimmel Scandalize Rock and Curves. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in I think this is the purple one. Then I also have like this weird glitter mascara from BYS. Just a whole bunch of mascaras that I reach for the most that sort of sit on the top here and they're also stored in these Kmart kitchen sorters. Then in this back section here I've just used these like Chinese food containers. Then I just have a heap of these single eyeshadows lots of the bourgeois ones that I actually really like but I just don't reach for as much.
much anymore. They sit in the back here because I never ever reach for them. And then in this section here, I have a whole ton of the NYX single eyeshadows from the advent calendars. I absolutely freaking love these things. They're super inexpensive and the colors are amazing. Underneath these, I have a couple of the NYX eyeshadows. This is the mermaid one that I used in my mermaid tutorial. I have a couple of the Australis Metallics eyeshadows. These are a couple of the Stila Magnificent Metals and I, I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've got some Chi Chi Baked eyeshadows. I have two of the Napoleon Loose Eye Dust. I have this one here in Ice Storm and this one here is in Mosaic Gold. Then I have a couple of the Essence eyeshadows as well. I've got some MAC ones. I've got more of the Metallics from Astralis in here. Then in this section here I have all of my eyebrow products. I have the Sigma Brow Powder. This one here is in Blonde. I've got all of the Benefit Brow products. So my favorite being the Precisely My Brow. I'm in the shade 3 for all of these. So I've got like the Cabral. I have the Bravo Conditioning Primer. I have Goof Proof Pencil. Give Me Brow. Precisely My Brow. All of those in here. I also have Browsings. I have the NYX Control Freak. And then I've got a whole bunch of the Australis Tint My Brows. You guys know that these are my favorite brow gels for setting your brows. I have the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. I've got lots of pencils which I don't really reach for. I have the Maybelline Brow Drama. I have the Anastasia Pomade. This is in the shade Taupe which I very very rarely reach for and it's super super dried up now. Then in this section here I have all of my pigments and my sort of gel liners and things like that. I have two of the MAC pigments. One in Copper Sparkle and one in Melon. Some loose pigments from BYS here. I have my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop Primer. I have the Wicked Gel Liner from Sigma. Then in the back here I recently got these and these are just the Sports Girl pigments. Then onto this section here back into my pencils and eyeliners that are not black. So I have some NYX Roll On Shimmers like the purple one. I have a silver one. Then I have this one here which is the Highbrow by Benefit. This is technically an eyebrow product but I love it for putting it in the waterline when I want a bright waterline. I have a couple of the Essence eyeliners. I've got some Sports Girl ones. I've got some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Then I have some colored ones here. I have my Rimmel Scandalizer Nude Pencil which is my favorite pencil for in the waterline. Then in this section here I have all of my black gel liners and liquid liners and pencil liners. So my favorite of all time being the Rimmel Glamour's Liquid Liner. You guys see me use this in all of my tutorials. I got sent this one recently. This is the Stefan High Precision Liquid Liner. Too Faced one. This is the Sketch Marker in black. I have a Stila Felt Liner. I've got backups of the Glamour's ones. I have a Napoleon Purtis one in here. I've also got the Pony Cosmetics Pegasus Liner. Then I have a backup of the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. Then in the top drawer is my Lashes drawer. So this one here is pretty jam-packed with lots of different lashes and my favorite lashes. So in this section here I have all of my Ardell lashes. I've got lots of Wispies which are my favorite. Not the Demi Wispies but the Wispies. I do have a couple of Demi Wispies back in here. Here I have some Morphe lashes which I really really like as well. I've got a heap more in the back there that I can't really get to. I've got some here from Bespoke Lashes. These are so so gorgeous. I got sent these recently as well. I have a couple here from Slay Everyday Lashes. This is the Star Samantha which is my favorite. These ones here are so gorgeous and the ones that I go for whenever I'm doing a dramatic eye. These are definitely my favorite lashes I have in my collection because they are called the Natalie Lash. These are from Slay Every Day. Then I have all of my Glam by Manicare lashes in here. I absolutely love these. These are my favorite brand. Then in the front here I just have these really cheap like Asian lashes that I get from Asian dollar stores which I've been trialing out to see if they're any good. Then underneath I have some backstage lashes. Well I got sent these and have been using them a lot. Then I just have a couple of eyelash tools here like my eyelash curlers. I've also got an eyelash applicator in there which I don't really use. And then I have all of my glues. So in here I've got all of the little baby glues that, that I get in the packets of lashes. Then I have my go-to lash glue which is the Ardell one and this is my absolute favorite. It burns the living shit out of your eyes but it is so good at holding your lashes on. And then this little cute case is just from a cheap dollar store as well and this is basically where my eyelashes go to die. Does anyone else have anything super creepy like this? This is where all of my mismatched lashes go and just like lashes that I can't find their partners for or lashes that I've used that I don't have the boxes for. Now onto the other side of my Alex drawers. I have this top drawer here and this is like my nothing drawer. So I have hair accessories in the back here. Lots of these ties in there. I've, then in the back I've got all weird things as well. So I have like Hollywood tape. I have a nail file. I also have some blackhead strips. Then in this section here this is like my miscellaneous boring section. I've got like pens in here. I have tape. I've got some contacts. I have got all of my memory cards stored in there. This is also miscellaneous. This is more my tools. So I have scissors in here. Nail clippers. I have my tweezers for when I'm applying my eyelashes. Then in this section here I have some skincare stuff. I have a baby micellar water which I absolutely love. I have some face peels. I've got some acne cream. I've got some facial mist. And that's basically it for this drawer. This is just my boring yucky drawer. Then in this section here I have all of my beauty sponges. So I have the original 
original Beauty Blender in the black shade, which my dog has absolutely eaten to bits. I have some cheap beauty sponges here. I have the Chi Chi sponge. Then I have a brand new Beauty Blender. I have my very, very dirty Real Technique sponge under here, which I am obsessed with. I actually rate this just as highly as the Beauty Blender. This is a Lush Soap in Serendipity, and it smells amazing. If you love lemongrass, you will love this. Then in this drawer here, I have all of my palettes. This drawer is very, very jam-packed. I've struggled to store my palettes in a nice way, and it's very, very heavy. So in the back here, I have this gorgeous limited edition Disney Alice Through the Looking Glass Urban Decay palette. This is so pretty, and I absolutely love the packaging of this. Then I have a whole bunch of Morphe palettes. I have the 35K, 35O, and the 35T. You guys know that the 35O is one of my favorite palettes of all times. It is just the perfect mix of warm shades. Then I also have some of the BH Cosmetics palettes. Then I just have some cheap sort of W7 multicolored palettes. I have a little body shop compact just with some cool tone shades. Then in the back compartment here, I just have a whole heap of little eyeshadows. I also have some like Indian bindis in here for when I'm going to festivals or when I'm doing like different makeup looks with these. So then in this section here, I have the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. But this was my first Urban Decay palette I ever bought and still love the shades in this palette to this day. I have the Balm Nude Tube palette. I also have some Too Faced palettes. I have the amazing Sweet Peach palette which just smells incredible. It's obviously known to be smelling like peach. Then I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette which is one of my all-time favorite palettes. Then I have a Kit Cosmetics The White T-Shirt palette. This is such a pretty palette and I absolutely love the glitter packaging on it. Then I have a couple of the Gorgeous Cosmetics palettes. I have the Tarte Eyeshadow palette. This is the Tarte Lip palette, the original one. I have the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette which is also amazing. These are like pressed glitter. I have some Astralis palettes. I have a Models Prefer palette. Then I have some blush palettes here. This is new to my collection and this is the Tarte Color Wheel palette. The packaging is freaking amazing and the colors are phenomenal. I have a little Melly Cosmetics palette. I also have the Zoeva Coral Spectrum blush palette and this is just beautiful. And I definitely reach for these blush palettes way more than I reach for my individual blushes. Then I have this little baby Morphe palette. This is the Morphe 12NB palette and it is a beautiful mini palette of warm shades and this is my ultimate travel eyeshadow palette. I have the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette in here as well. Then I have my Anastasia Glow Kit and this is in that glow. This is a beautiful highlighting palette. I also have a little Sephora palette in there. I have the Balm How About Them Cheeks Cream blushes. And then I have the Too Faced Nikki Tutorials palette. Then in this section here, I just keep a whole bunch of earrings in this section. I don't really know where else to store them so they just for some reason sit in my eyeshadow palette drawer. Then this drawer here has to be one of my favorite favorite drawers ever in my whole collection and this is my lipstick drawer. So these dividers here are from Dezo and they're just drawer dividers and I've cut them up to fit my Alex drawers and it is honestly my favorite way to store lipsticks because you can see every single lipstick in your collection. So in the back here I just have a whole bunch of random lipsticks. I've got lots of my nudes. Then I have some Essence lipsticks. I have a Melly Cosmetics one. I've got lots of Maybelline. I have some Urban Decay sample ones in there. I have some Napoleon. I have some Lime Crime. Then in this section here I have lots of Mellow Cosmetics. These are such amazing lipsticks. They're some of my favorite. I have a whole lip swatch video on these. And I also have the liquid lipsticks from Mellow Cosmetics. Then in this area here, I have the Benefit They're Real Double Tip Lips. So these are the ones that you wind up and they have like a lip liner on the top and lipstick in the bottom. Then I have three of the lipsticks from Stefan. Then I have all of my MAC lipsticks in this section here, which I love and adore. These are my favorite formula of lipsticks. and I love the smell of them. So a couple of my favorites would definitely be Flesh Pot. This is just a gorgeous pinky nude shade. Then I I have Honey Love, which is also one of my favorite nude shades of all time. It's a little bit more warm and a little bit more wearable than Flesh Pot. Then this was the first MAC lipstick I ever bought, and this is Saint Germain, which is just the most like milky fluorescent pink, but I still love it. Then I have Lady Danger, which is my favorite bright orange matte shade. Then I've got Candy Yum. Another one of my favorites is Diva, which is my ultimate berry lip shade. It is super, super wearable when it comes to like berry lips. Then I have some neon shades, and I have some like limited edition ones as well. Then in this section here, I have all of my sports girl lipsticks which I also really love and these are super inexpensive. I do have a lip swatch video on these as well and they're always bringing out like on trend shades like this one here which is Vertigo which is like an awesome sort of taupey brown shade. Then in this section here I have all of my Sephora brand lipsticks. Then I have a whole heap of BYS lipsticks in here. These are super comfortable and super inexpensive as well. I have things like black for when I'm doing Halloween looks as well. Then in the bottom drawer here I store all of my fake tan. I have some body scrubs, some sheet masks, some brush cleaners and then lipsticks that I don't reach for. 
before. So I have my two tanning mitts here. I have the J Bronze one, which I love because it has the little finger. And then I have the Loving Tan glove. I have a coupon code with Loving Tan and I love Loving Tan, which you guys will see throughout this bottom drawer here. So if you use my code down below, which I'll leave in the description box, you can get a free glove with any purchase. Then in here, I have some Frank body scrubs, which look absolutely manky, but it's just because they're a little bit oily inside. I love these for exfoliating off my fake tan. Then in the back here, this is where all of my fake tan is normally stored, but it was getting so full that I've had to migrate them forward. So I have some La Tan. I have some Loving Tan Ultra Dark, which is my favorite Loving Tan formula. You guys can check out my tanning routine as well, and I go into way more detail about my tanning routine. This is a tinted moisturizer by Palmer's Cocoa Butter, and it is perfect for prolonging your tan throughout the week. Then in the bottom here, I have some Bondi Sands Dark Foaming Tan. I absolutely love Bondi Sands as well. I swear by this stuff too. I also have some Bondi Sands Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. Then I just have an absolute shit ton of this Loving Tan stuff here. These are in dark. You guys know how much I love Loving Tan. I have some Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream in Ultra Dark. This is incredible for going over top of your tan when you have like a special event and you want to look like J-Lo Bronze. I have some more dark. I have some more Ultra Dark. I have some Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Dry Oil. Then in this section here, I have my Sigma Brush Cleaner. I absolutely swear by this brush cleaner here. It just gives your brushes a really, really deep clean and just makes cleaning your brushes so much more easy. Then I have my favorite brush cleaner of all time and this is the Daiso Makeup Brush Cleaner. This stuff is so friggin' cheap and so amazing. Anyone that tries it knows that this stuff is so good. Then I also have the Daiso Sponge Cleaner, which is amazing. Then in the back here, I just have heaps of sheet masks. I've got lots of these Sephora ones. I have lots of these ones from Watson's Overseas. Then I have a whole bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses and jumbo lipsticks that I never ever reach for. I'm not really into lip gloss because I just find that my hair sticks to it. Then onto this acrylic set right here. This is a four drawer acrylic set that I was gifted from NYX Cosmetics. And I got this as a gift for doing a meet and greet and I absolutely love it for storing my liquid lipsticks. This is where all of my liquid lipsticks are kept. So this top it lifts up here which I really like so that you can easily access these ones here but you can also display things on top. So in here I just have lots of mellow liquid lipsticks. I have some LA Girl liquid lipsticks and Sports Girl liquid lipsticks. I have a L'Oreal Glam Matte liquid lipstick. I have Jeffree Star I'm Nude which is my all time my favorite nude liquid lipstick. I have some Rimmel Apocalypse liquid lipsticks. I have a Max Factor one. I have some Lestage, which I have a whole lip swatch video on these as well. I have some Anastasia liquid lipsticks here. I love this orangey shade here. I have a deeper red there, which is like an actual berry red when you apply it. I have Milkshake there. Then I have my favorite NYX lip lingeries. Then in the second drawer here, I have all of these amazing NYX soft matte lip creams. Now I was gifted these as well, all from NYX. I'm so, so lucky to be gifted the amount of makeup that I am. So I have bright oranges. I have some dark sort of plum shades in the back here, some browns. I've got some pinks. I've got some bright pinks. I have nudie pinks, more browns, and then your original nude shade. Then in the third drawer here, I have more of the NYX lipsticks. These are the NYX lip suede. So I have lots of these shades here. I love this red one. This is the one that I used in my Christmas video. I'll link that down below as well if you wanted to check it out. Then I also have some really bright shades, which I think are super cool. I've just got some like bright shades here, some dark purples and bright purples, then double ups in this corner here, and some blacks. Then in the fourth drawer here, I just have more liquid lipsticks. So I've got Chi Chi Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Then I have some Bright Organics Matte liquid lipsticks. Got some NYX Butter Glosses. I have a Sports Girl Lip Gloss. I've got the Too Faced Lip Injection. I have a Stefan Metallics liquid lipstick. I have the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow one. I have some Gerard Cosmetics. I have some Too Faced Melted liquid lipstick. Then in this section here, I have all of my Australis Velour lips. And then in this section here, I have my Ultra Matte ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Now into the bottom drawer is all of my main setting sprays. So in the back here I have my MAC Fix Plus. This is in the rose scent. I have the Maybelline Master Fix which is a super affordable drugstore one and I definitely think that this makes your makeup last longer. I have the NYX Dewy Skin Finish. I have some Avene Thermal Spray. I have another Maybelline Master Fix. I've got the Models Prefer Finale Spray. I have the Australis Finishing Spritz. I have a Fiji one here. I have an original MAC Fix Plus. Then in the back here I just have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is just a small baby size. So guys that is it. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my makeup collection and just remember guys that I am so so appreciative and grateful for everything that I have. I just thought I would show you guys all of my makeup collection because I know that this video has been so highly requested. So if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and as per usual if you're new to my channel or haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!